brother Riley for getting his pilot's license. Where the Riley? Hell, yeah. hell is that motherfucker? To my father's black card, to my black card. God, I haven't done Sambuca since I was 20 years old. Howdy, old White Hurts here, back with a little more Far Cry 3, Episode 9, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now, right now, what are we doing? Well, we got a new mission from Dennis. Well, not really a new mission. Yes, we did get a new mission from Dennis. We did get a new mission from Dennis. We do have to, uh, apparently, Voss is getting ready to come in here and assault the good people of Amanaki. He set up a little a weapons cache somewhere, a little weapons stash that he is... Uh, where he's kind of staging, you know, the, the before the assault. The staging area is an old lumber mill. So I think we're going to try and get there this episode. I thought maybe we'd start and just maybe do this little time trial that's right here. This crocodile alley. After I gave a little cash to this fella. Look at him, he's waving, waving at me there. We made it look like we lost it to him. But when in fact, well, we uh, it was just a charity donation to him because he's so hard up on his luck or... He's so down on his luck right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the poor soul. The poor soul. And that's our good deed. Our good deed of the recording session, yes. So, we do have this Path of the Hunter quest there, but I think I'm going to leave that for now. Let's go do a little, uh, you know, this one I think is a little Crocodile Alley, of course. It is the little wave runner, the little jet ski. You got the skill to drive? I do. I hope so. We're going to find yeah, out, fine. aren't we? And we'll try an expert run here. I usually try the races at expert. I may not get it. You know, some of these are pretty... Can be pretty challenging to... to it's just a time trial, right? And I, I hate how they don't start you in the vehicle. Like, I have to... <laughs> they get me already there, and then I have to get in the goddamn vehicle myself. Well, sometimes I'm just too lazy to do that, you know? Oh, no. You've blown it already, Brody. You've blown it already. What are you doing? Follow the goddamn... The, the gates, sir. The gates. Thank you. Almost going the wrong way again. You know what I'm saying? Good. <laughs> Keep her steady, Brody. We may just pull this out just yet. Who knows? After your big goddamn navigational error there early on. Oh, big air coming. Here we go. Beautiful. Yeehaw! That deserved it. Come on, Brody. Get on the juice. Get on the gas. And we failed. And we, you just lost me 125 bucks, sir. 125. God damn it. It was right there. If you'd been on the gas coming out of that big air, we would have been okay. Anyway, we'll try it one more time. That was a short one. That was a short one. So we lost 125 bones. Putting another 125 on the line here. Doing a little oh, double or nothing. Insuff I can't. Brody... Now we're going to lose money here no matter what. Well, you should be able to pull in this skilled tab, no problem. All right. Get in there. No errors this time, sir. Big old fail to start things off. Not good. Not good in my books. There you go. Now you're learning, son. Now you're learning. They call it Crocodile Alley. Well, where the hell are the crocodiles, you know? Figured there'd be something jumping. Oh, I think I just drove by one. Brody, pay attention to the goddamn gates. Not quit your sightseeing for crocodiles. What are you doing? Goddamn. Jason Brody, crocodile hunter extraordinaire. I just can't drive a goddamn jet ski to save his life, though. To save his life. Oh, no. Going all corkscrewy coming down here. Oh, you're on the gas, though. That's nice to see. It's nice to see you. Lots of time left on the clock this time. God damn, there we go. Well, we lost uh, 50 bucks in the whole the whole deal. That's good for now, though. I may be back for a little more there. There, fella. Zeke. That's what I'm going to call you. So you look like a Zeke. Yes. All right. We're going to head to the... We're going to steal this. This is where we're going to get this, our 50 bucks back. We just bought this uh, this little jet ski for 50 bucks. And we're going to head towards 
The lumber mill. Let's get it on the map here. Actually, you know what? I should probably try and get to this radio tower first. Hmm. No, we'll hit the lumber mill. Then we'll do the. Then we'll try and get to the radio tower. So I need to go down two river or two uh, two kind of crossroads here. Two forks in the river. I guess that would be the proper terminology. There's the first one. Oh, now you're driving it, aren't you, sir? Now you're driving it just fine, yes. Must be the gates. They just throw him off his game a little bit. Too much pressure when he's running against the clock like that, I suppose. I do suppose, yes. All right. Let's bail out of this sucker. And uh, head out on foot. The lumber mill, not too far away. Not too far from here. And a little trial to Rocky Yacht challenge coming up. I may just avoid that for now. Actually, let me check the time. How much time did we actually spend in that race? Not much. I may come back and do this if we get through the lumber mill in a, uh, you know, a decent amount of time. A reasonable amount of time. Here's the camp. Now for the alarm. All right. Let's, uh, let's take some, snap some photos. Scope out the area here. Now, for any of you guys who perhaps, oh, this is going way back, saw my, uh, one of my, I threw up a screen tear test video on the PS3 version of, uh, of this game. And, uh, this was the mission that that, uh, that that video had in it. There was no commentary on it or anything. I just, uh, was just testing the quality of the video once it got up on YouTube. And it was shit. It was shit. It was, the mission itself played it pretty nicely. But, uh, the quality was garbage. I know there's more out there. I'm just having a heart. There's one right there. Oh, come on. Bloody hell. Well, let's skirt this way first to start things off. You can see we have a guy right down here. Filling up the gas tank. Oh, good. He's going to go and inspect, is he? I'm done. Good. He's a little bit out of the way now, too, which is nice to see. Go to my bow here. Put this sucker down. Done. Oh, and of course the tiger. The goddamn camp's pet. There goes another one. I don't know if I should be venturing up here too high. Got the tiger to deal with off in the distance. Grab my arrow here. Did he spot me? I don't know what's going on. He seems all startled about something, though. <laughs> what's he doing? Oh, yeah, he spotted the, the corpse. Bloody hell. Come on over here, sucker. Come on over here. Literally. Let's get you in the bush. Let's get you in the bush so you don't get spotted. I'd hate for another one to come over here. Doing this pretty nicely so far. I have to admit. Putting that guy out of his uh, belching misery over there. Poor guy. Gastrointestinal issues. Mercy killing is all that was. Well, uh, you know, put that same strategy into uh, into action here with the mine on the uh, the disabled alarm. I wonder if I could have used that zip line. It's possible. A couple guys left over there. 
Oh, good lord, sir. At least piss in the drink and not just on the, the goddamn dock. And that was a goddamn mess of a peace strain that you had there. Uh, you might want to get that looked at. One guy right below us here. I love coming up this thing. Going in for the death from above on this sucker. Done. It was me, sir. Your savior. I don't know. I'm tempted to just go in there and, uh, and do what I came here to do. But you know what? I'll do this guy in first. <laughs> oh, shit. I was hoping for a death from above, but I'll take that. Just because he didn't know what the hell was going on. Look at this guy sleeping on the job over here. All right. We're good to go. Get my, my MP5 out. Pretty sure that's everything but uh, our friendly neighborhood tiger dealt with. Pretty simple. Whoa. Well, not really simple, but I mean, uh, I've played it enough that I know what the hell is going on. I'll grab some ammo here. I guess I don't need the nades. And this is quite the little weapon stash they've assembled. I mean, my god. Anyway, let's uh, drop the dino. The dino mod, yes. Fucker spotted me too. Oh, four seconds to a glorious explosion. Shaboom! Beautiful. Maybe you should be focusing on the guys that are shooting at you, Brody. Rather than playing to the crowd, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, sir? Good. Good. I'm gonna burn you suckers out of there. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, bloody hell. Can you throw it that far, Brody? Do you think? It'd be a beautiful toss. Oh, it's coming up short. Coming up short, sir. Not impressed. At least they have a bit of an obstacle to get through. Give me a chance to flank around flank around the back of them. Is the friendly neighborhood tiger in here? Here's so. Uh-oh. Brody, you're so done. Get your ass out of there. Holy shit. That didn't work out well at all. I'm going for the alarm. The alarm is trying. Where the hell is he going? Oh, he's over there. That was a real bugger, let me tell you. A fine piece of work. Now, tell me about your friends. The radio said Voss was recording ransom videos of PC. PC? PC. Pirate Cove. But we call it Sunset Cove. That's one of the prisons. Got it. Remember, Jason. The strength you receive from the path will help you succeed. I know there is a whole whack of treasure chests around here, but of course I don't have the radio tower open, and I don't know where they all are. Damn it. Taga? Think I could take down this sucker? I mean, he's just chilling up there, but you know what? Let's pick a fight with the tiger. He's gone. He's hot tailing it. Doesn't want any piece of hurts, Brody. Alright, well, I guess we'll leave the chests for the time being. Let's go and get this uh, radio tower done. And if we're in the area again in some future point in time, then, then we'll clean up all the loot that's in here. Oh no! God damn! God damn it. Get out of there, Brody. Beautiful, sir. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> Jumping right on top of a crocodile. Crocodile hunter extraordinaire. As I said, Brody. Jason Brody. Pretty sure there's a, a vine over here somewhere to climb. Could be mistaken, though. I've been wrong before. It doesn't happen often, though, gentlemen. It doesn't happen often. 
Yeah, I guess I was mistaken. No. Maybe it's up one level. I'm pretty sure it's... There's one around here somewhere. A big old vine that we can climb to get up there. Get up to that ridge. There it is right there. I knew it was around here somewhere. I wasn't talking out my ass. Brody was just, uh, you know, looking at the compass the wrong way or something. I don't know what he was doing. He's the navigator. I'm just, uh... <laughs> I'm just here for the ride. <clears throat> and another vine right up there. This is quite the climb, though. Really great scale in this game, you know? Great... Goddamn great altitudes. Have to get out in the hang glider at some point. I'm sure there's one up here. The day night cycle seems to seems accelerated on the PC version. I could be wrong, of course. Again, doesn't happen often, but it could be. The days and the nights just seem to be going by pretty quickly, you know. Yeah, I wasn't messing around with those suckers. I put them down quick. After that last guy at the uh, at the lumber mill was giving me such a hard time, I was I wasn't fucking around. There was no way. He had put me in a mood, you know. I should grab a few more crimson. Just because I think I only have two, and uh, I could probably do with a few, uh, a few uh, enhanced perception serums, which basically it's uh, much like the hunter's instinct. Um, when you saw me use the hunter's instinct, it allowed me to track wildlife through their scent, you know. Uh, whereas the enhanced perception allows me to track pirates or humans uh, by their scent or movement or something like that. But it, there's some reason to explain it. By their pheromones, I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly. And uh, you can also uh, see enemy explosives in the area. So, that's a useful little serum. And you can see the, uh, you know, like I said, the towers, they become a little bit more dilapidated as uh, the more we uncover, you know. Some of them are a complete goddamn wreck. This one not too bad. Just a few ledges to hop up to. Still pretty straightforward. Alright, now let's see what they're going to uh, point us to. Up uh, a little bit higher up the hill here. A few chests. There's actually a relic up there as well. So I may, be try I may actually try and make my way up there. Before I head back down the mountain. And there's a, that's a little excavation site that also has a relic at it. Um, but uh, I don't know guys. We're at about... Uh... Good lord. What are the vultures circling for here? Well, what am I going to do? Let's go up. Let's go up. Not waste any time here. Let's go right up to the top. Grab that relic. And then work our way back. God damn it goats. Get away from me. I don't want any of your shit. Move along. God damn it. Stop taunting me. I know you are superior creatures, yes. I know. Taunting me with their with their baths or bays or whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh I knew there was one more vine right here. Alright. Just a couple minutes left in this episode. We like I said, we'll get up here and we'll snatch this relic. Might be a couple pirates patrolling up here. There has, there have been before, and not yet. I'm already getting spotted by one. Shock trooper. Oh, just a little bit high. Again, a little bit high. Got you that time though, didn't I, sucker? You son of a bitch. Get off of me. Yeah, so uh, he's very much like a shock trooper. 
Um, and I don't have any health. I don't have any health left. Where did all my health go? What have I been using it on? I don't remember. But uh, very much a shock trooper, only he has the machete. And he'll come on, come in and rip shit up, you know. You gotta put them down quickly. They certainly play the distraction, you know. And if they start laying the beats on you or the slices and dices up close, well, you can be done for if you're you're facing multiple opponents there. So there's uh, another relic in, in the bag. That's number five. We're on our way, number five of 120. And I'll leave the cash there uh, just so I don't disturb, you know, Disturb the gods, put them in a foul mood, and they start pissing down rain on me again. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to wrap it right there. That's 20 minutes. So hopefully you enjoyed the, the lumber mill mission, my little, uh, goddamn, my, my fails. Well, only one fail down there on the river in that crocodile alley. And, of course, my, uh, my mounting of this, uh, of this hill, of this mountain, yes, my climb to greatness. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy it, please do leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll remember why it hurts. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Number 10, double digits. Here we go. Later.